Welcome back to the third and last episode of the SeaWalk Special Edition tutorial series extra made design for you and in this video we're going to have a big recap of what we learned and what we what I told you that you can use for your for your moves and for your videos and for your training. So at first the first thing was do you remember? Yes. I will tell you. Choose a good starting position. Choose a good starting position. For me, to, choose, to show you a little bit more, again, I will always, not always, but in the majority of my videos and the cases, I will use the closed V-step formation. Easily. So, for what you want to do, when I start with the V-step, I choose the closed V-step formation. Then, the second, the second thing is, get used or get smoother with your moves. It means that we have to train our coordination. So, as I told you, some trainings like this, 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 or we can make like the, to the inside, tack, tack, okay? Like, pum, pum, pow, pow, or like, tan, 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 tan. So get smoother with your moves and everything will look smoother, as you can imagine. So the third thing is keep in mind that everything looks even smoother when you think on shifting the, your weights from the one side to the other. It means that when I move like this, I shift my weight to this, but also sh can shift it to the back side and make a V-step out of it and a back step. And then go from the major weight here to the back side and go also to the V-step. And then in the closed B-step formation and then to the open and go here to the right side and make it maybe like like pointing in the back side going front to the other side so just have in mind that you can shift your weights and the third thing is that keep in mind that you can shift the weight from the right side to the left side and back okay so when I go to here I can go to back to the other side when I, my weight is on the left foot I can make a step on the right I can also bring the right from the back seat straight on the on the right foot, right foot, and bring the left foot into the heel toe position to go to the other side. So play with this, play with your weights of your body, and you can design nice stuff like this. So the fourth thing that we keep in mind is a good transition. I know that's maybe the most, uh, yeah, the difficult thing to do to have a good transition but as I told you before there are some steps like using your weight to go into another groove okay just using your weight shifting it and creating new moves and new transitions you know making some steps on the heels or on the toes but preferred on the heel and then you can go and play also with the weight so good transitions are made out of weight shifting and going into the other moves that I already told you in my YouTube channel in this case you can also check this out so um, yes and the sixth advice that I can give you is just do what I told you before <laughs> and use this knowledge for yourself to get better moves to have fun, to practice it, because as I told you, the beauty is in is in the is in practice, it's in practicing, it's in the process, it's in the process of getting better by doing it. So it's like everything in life. I hope you enjoyed this special edition, and maybe also you can have a checkout on my Shopify or my, and you also have a checkout on my, and you and you also maybe have. And you also maybe can check out my uh, and you also maybe can check out my online shop petty-moves.com. It will sh be shown here this link, or you already know where it is. If not, just check out my other profiles on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Linktree, whatever you want. And yeah, be good, do good, and yeah, have fun. Your petty moves.